Chapter 21, problem number 30. At New York City, the Earth's magnetic field has a vertical component of 5.2 times 10 to the negative 5th Tesla that points downwards perpendicular to the ground and a horizontal component of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5th Tesla that points toward geographic north or parallel to the ground. What are the magnitude and direction of the magnetic force on a 6.0 meter long straight wire that carries a current of 28 amps perpendicularly to the ground? So for this problem, it's important to realize that force is only exerted when, mag when the magnetic field and the current are perpendicular to one another. If the magnetic field and the current are parallel to one another, there is no force exerted. Now, going back to the problem, we are told that the vertical component of the Earth's magnetic field is 5.2 times 10 to the negative fifth Tesla and it is perpendicular to the ground. We are also told that the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth Tesla and this right here is parallel to the ground. Now as I said earlier there's only a force exerted when the magnetic field and the current are perpendicular to one another. The problem also states that the current is perpendicular to the ground. We know that because the horizontal component is parallel to the ground and because the current is perpendicular to the ground, these two will be perpendicular to one another. However, we also know that the vertical component of the Earth's magnetic field is perpendicular to the ground, but because the current is also perpendicular to the ground, this means that the vertical component and the current are parallel to one another. And because they are parallel to one another, there is no force exerted, because force is only exerted when the magnetic field and the current are perpendicular to one another. So the only component of the Earth's magnetic field that we will be looking at is the horizontal component, because it is perpendicular to one another. So, using this equation right here, force is equal to the magnetic field times the current times the length of the straight wire times sine theta. Theta is the angle between the current and the magnetic field. So this right here, because the current and the magnetic field that we are working with are perpendicular to one another, this angle will be 90 degrees. And we are looking for the force right here. So from here we can just plug in our values so the force what we're looking for is equal to the magnetic field and we're only working with the horizontal component so 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth tesla times the current which in this case is 28 amps times the length of the straight wire which is 6.0 meters times as i said before sine theta which is equal to sine of 90 degrees. And once you uh, just plug in all your calculations in your calculator, you should come up with the force being equal to 0 0.0030 newtons. And with the right hand rule, the direction of the magnetic force is pointing east. And just to recap what we did, you have to keep in mind that force is only exerted when the magnetic field and the current are perpendicular to one another. We were told that the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field was parallel to the ground, and we knew that the current was also, well, it was perpendicular to the ground, meaning these two would be perpendicular to one another. And the reason why we didn't look at the vertical component in this problem is because it was perpendicular to the ground, and because the current is also perpendicular to the ground, these two would ultimately be parallel to one another. And if the uh, magnetic field is parallel to the current, there is no force exerted, meaning we don't look at the vertical component at all. We only focus on the horizontal component. And from there, all we have to do is plug in our values. And once we do that, you should get, this is your final answer, 0 0.0030 newtons. And, of course, during, or with the uh, right-hand rule, you know that the direction of the magnetic force is east.